Tess Blair's title run in the 117th Utah Women's State Amateur Championship could have ended in the first round of match play as she received an unexpected challenge from a member of the extended family of the Summer Hayes golfers. Thanks to four wins in the last six holes, including three birdies, Blair overcame Sydney Richards. Her 2-1 victory ended on Jeremy Ranch Golf and Country Club's par 3, 17th hole. Then, about 48 hours later, Blair returned to that same hole with a two-up lead over Arizona State junior Grace Summerhays, Richards' cousin and a much more celebrated player. Blair's six-iron tee shot proved to be the decisive shot of the match. She led from start to finish, giving her bookend victories over a family of Utah golf royalty in the only two times in five matches that she had to play hole number 17. Blair's second women's state amateur title further elevated her own family from Harriman in Utah golf history. Her sister, Serene, won the 2014 title. The Blairs matched the three combined state am victories of Summer Hayes and her older brother, Preston. Serene Blair Wheeler is a PGA of America staff member. She witnessed her sister's latest victory in early August. Their father, Robert, caddied for Tess, who's now playing for Iowa State as a graduate student in supply chain management, closely consulting her on every shot. It's an incredible accomplishment for my girls, he said. I never thought this would happen when I started playing golf with these kids and teaching them. These are very special moments. Indeed they are. It is my pleasure to sit down for an interview with Tess Blair, the 2023 Utah State Women's Amateur Champion. Tess, congratulations on your second Utah State Am Championship, and what are your lasting memories about that? I mean, it was such a special match. Um, Grace played great, I played great as well, and um, it was even more special because I hadn't been to the final match in, I think, about four years. Um, so that was a landmark for me in itself, and then to get it done was even more special. Harder to win your first one or your second one? I think it was harder to win the second one. I'm still surprised that I won it when I was 17. <laughs> <laughs> so you missed the championship when you won in 17 and you and you played well in the stand, but you could never get to that championship match again. Were you thinking, hey, I'm a I'm a defend, I'm a champion. I'm a former champion. I should be there. Absolutely, that definitely crossed my mind, and um, it was a little bit frustrating. I'm not going to lie to get so close for so many years in a row, but um, I think it's just a testament to how talented. Uh, women's golf is here in Utah and it grows every year and um, not making it to the final match for that long is just a testament to that. <laughs> so your first match um, against Richards, you were in a position to maybe not even make it out of that first round. I mean she was playing really well yes. and you had to come up with I think three birdies in the last couple of holes to, to win that match. Absolutely, yeah. Um, anyone can win in match play and um, it just depends on who's having a better day and she was having a great day that day and um, I had to answer and thankfully I did. <laughs> what, what goes through your mind in that situation? Like, I got to start grinding. I mean, you know, you come in, you're playing well, but you're behind. Yeah, um, and I definitely talked to my dad about that before the round started and um, he just let me know that the number that you get when you seated, it doesn't mean mm -hmm. anything once match play starts and she earned her place to be there just like I did. Um, so I think that mindset really helped me finish it out there. You mentioned your dad caddying for you. What's that like to have him on the back? Kind of a steadying influence? Yeah, it's mm. it's so special. Um, he was the one that got me into golf. He knows my game better than I do. Um, so it was really special to have him on the bag all week and then to have him there on that last hole and to pick up the trophy with me was even more special. Last hole, you never made it to the 18th hole all week. Yes. Uh, Jamie, that's kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> yep, and um, you know, that's what happened when I won mm. it when I was 17. So I thought that was a good sign that I was ending them early. <laughs> So let's talk about the final match with Grace Summerhays, herself a former champion, really good player, Arizona State. Um, but you jumped out to the lead and never trailed in that match. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, Grace is a really talented player, and I knew that um, before the round started. But um, it's like what I said before, she earned her place to be in that final match, and I did as well. Um, so I kept that in mind. and. Um, I mentioned this when I um, did the interview after I won, but I told myself that Fearless Golf was going to win that tournament. Fearless Golf is going to win this tournament. Um, so even though I started out pretty, pretty hot there, so did Grace. Um, I just kept saying, let's just keep on playing. Let's not think about um, losing the lead or getting ahead too far. Um, let's just keep on playing. And I'm really proud of myself for playing that fearlessly. Um, so I told myself to play fearlessly that day. and. I did, and now I have my name on that trophy again. And how fearless was that six iron that you hit on the tee shot on 17? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, 
that hole is a little bit challenging for a draw player, um, especially when they put that pin on the right with that huge left to right slope on the green. Um, and Grace got it in there nice and close, so definitely took a lot of um, being fearless over that shot. And I focused on my start line, hit a good one, and put it inside of her. Your dad, as a caddy, you said he was wearing the same hat he wore when yes. he caddied for you? Yep, First he wore one. the same Tylus hat that um, he wore when I won when I was 17, so maybe I should have thanked him in my speech for that <laughs> one. <laughs> what, what was your mindset going into that thing? I mean, you know you're a good player, you hadn't won for a while, hadn't won the championship for a while. Did you think this was going to, when you came into this, did you think this was going to be your year? I mean, it's like I said, the talent just goes up every year and every summer that I come back to play Utah golf. Um, it's always been a goal to get my name on that trophy one more time before I stop playing as an amateur. Um, but going into this tournament, I just kept reminding myself, hey, you've won this before, you can win it again. And sure, you've gotten close the last three or four years. Uh, so close to the finish line, you just couldn't get over quite yet. But um, maybe this is your year. So that's why I kept reminding myself and I got it done. I mean this in the best possible way, but you're kind of like a silent assassin. You just kind of go about your business. I mean, there's not, you, you're just, you know how far you can hit it. You hit it that far. You, you've got control of your game. And at the end of the day, you just, rack up wins. <laughs> Is that accurate? Um, I think that I'm a really consistent player um, and sometimes people don't think that's the best strategy to have in match play but Jeremy Ranch is a really tough golf course um, and sometimes pars mm -hmm. won me the hole. Um, so I just kept reminding myself let's play to your strength, you're consistent, um, let's keep playing consistent golf and it worked this year. So your name is on this trophy now twice. That's got to mean something large. Yes, it means the world to me. Um, it's like I said before, the talent just keeps going up um, every summer that I come back to play and um, this win was harder to get than my first one, so to be on there twice is an honor. Say every summer you come back to play, are you coming back this summer to defend um, this championship? I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. I'm not really sure what the future holds for me. If I'm going to play professional golf this summer or if I'll stay as an amateur, um, we'll have to see if you guys can spot me at Talents Cove. <laughs> And you're at Iowa State now, left yes. Sacramento State now at Iowa State. Yes. Really good team and you're going to be playing for a really good program. Yeah, it's, um, it's a blessing that I get to spend my last college year at another mm -hmm. great program with more talented girls around me and I'm excited to just enjoy my last semester in a college uniform. Well, we wish you the very best. Tess, congratulations Thank on you your so second much. Utah State Am Thank Championship. Thank you, appreciate Tess Blair, it. 2023 Utah State Women's Am Champion.